Hi Stampers, this is Kim Tolbert with Great Inspirations. Thank you for joining me. Today I have cards to share with you that I created using the Catching Butterflies stamp set. Now this stamp set is available for free with a $50 Stampin' Up! product purchase now through the end of February. And this stamp set can be found in the um, Celebration brochure and it is on page six. It's right here. And as I was looking at um, the stamp set, I almost didn't get it, but then I saw this card. And I really liked this card. And as I've told you many times before, if you need some inspiration or some ideas for cards, the Stampin' Up! catalogs are a great place to turn to for that inspiration. So I decided to make a card similar to this one. And the card that I created first was this one right here. And as you can see, oh, let me get that brochure back out. We have the Whisper White Mat, we have the window, I put the butterflies on, we have the net, and my greeting, I changed the way I did that, and I did of course put this um, frame around the window. And then when we open it on the inside, I put another frame, just because I didn't like the look of that bare die cut hole there and I also uh, put another net because you could see the back of this one and because I colored this with Stampin' Blends the yellow from the butterfly kind of faded through to the um, opposite side so this just kind of made it look a little more neat so on this card we used we made a window. I did some reverse stamping to get the net to be the opposite. Of course I had to do some fussy cutting. And for the girl's dress, I um, did some paper piercing. This is some designer series paper that I just stamped, cut out, and glued on her body. Now, I moved along from this card to this card, which is quite similar in a way. I just didn't make a window. Instead, I just um, used a die cut to mat the focal image. But I did die cut this, but what I did, I did a partial die cut, and we'll talk about that in a moment. And then on the inside, I just... Um, stamped a greeting. I um, stamped the butterfly image, which I stamped off before I stamped it on there. So you have a second generation of the color. And this die cut I actually cut from the center of this mat that's underneath this piece of basic white. I mean, you can't see it, and it's uh, just a good way to get a little more out of your cardstock. And then I, I just really liked this card idea. So I went on, and what I really liked was this. I just thought that would make a nice card front. So that's sort of what I did here with this one. And all I really did was stamp her. I did again paper piece the dress as I did for this one and I just stamped a greeting matted it and then put it on a card base the um, net I stamped an extra one cut it out and it is on there with dimensional so it gives it just a little dimension and this one is very similar to this one I just die cut the image and put it on dimensionals. This whole piece is on dimensionals. 
And again, I stamped the net, cut it out, and put it on dimensionals for a little bit of dimension. But I thought we would walk through this card. I've got all the parts and pieces over here. I'll just kind of separate these out a bit. Because the first thing you'll want is a card base. And in this case, I am using Flirty Flamingo. And then I took a piece of basic white, and this is four by five and a quarter, and I adhered it to the card base. And once it was adhered to the card base, I took my die, the size I wanted to make the window, and I ran it through my stamp and cut and emboss machine, and I cut a nice little window right there. After that, I took some, this is Daffodil Delight. You need two of these, one for the outside and one for the inside. I laid down the scallop die. It's two sizes bigger than the circle die. Put the circle die in the middle and ran that through the um, stamp and cut and emboss machine. And I got this. Then you'll need to do it, as I said, a second time. And then these will adhere here and, of course, on the inside. But before we do that, we need to get this image stamped. So I have a piece of basic white that is, yes, it's a four by five and a quarter, and I'm going to use just a tad of temporary adhesive. You can use a little bit of washi tape or whatever you have. Even just a little dot of the uh, multi-purpose glue, and then just keep sticking your finger on it um, to make it less tacky, and just put it on here. We just want it here temporarily. And then I'll take a pencil, and what I'm going to do is just very lightly. Now, I will probably draw this darker than what I would if I were doing it for the card because I want you to be able to see it. But we're just going to draw a circle, just trace around here lightly. And then that gives us an idea of where to stamp our image. And as you can see, we sort of want... Um, about half of your net to be outside of the circle. So let's get our image here. We'll use some Memento Tuxedo Black and see if I can do this. It's not too bad because we can still, that'll work. Then you can take this off and you'll want to erase the um, pencil mark. And then as you can see, I have the little butterfly stamped in here. You want to stamp the butterfly. Just do that right now. And then, um, this image, I just stamped it and cut it out. So that's going to go on the front. Now the reason I just put this in here temporarily is because the first time I stamped it, I really flubbed up. So I didn't have to worry about trying to get that adhesive off and, you know, taking that off. So I just um, did it with the temporary adhesive. So now we're going to put it on with some actual 
stay in place adhesive. We'll use some stamp and seal. And you don't have to get it exactly right, but you do need to get it pretty much where you had it. And you will because you're going to leave that little eighth inch border all around. There we go. Then you put I'm going to get my uh, silicone craft sheet out because we need to put the um, little frames around the card. I'm going to use a little bit of liquid glue for that. And just line it up. And then we'll do the same thing on the inside. Then we'll take this butterfly net and we'll just put glue along the top. Just line it up with the one that's on the inside. There we go. Now, as I said, you need one in here just makes it look a lot better and all I did was some reverse stamping and I'll show you how I did that I took the stamp inked up the net and maybe a little more just going to stamp it on here lift up Put this right here and just apply a little pressure and I just use the back of a acrylic block and there we go it's in reverse and then I just fussy cut it and now I need to stamp the butterfly And as I said, you'll want to color all this before you do all of your adhering. Let me just take a minute and clean this off. This is just a little bit of water in a Stampin' Spritzer. It'll keep me from getting black ink everywhere. And then you just put a little adhesive on the back of it. Put it right in place and that's the basics of making that card of course you'll want to stamp your greeting on there and as I said you would want to make sure and color in your images but that is pretty much how I made this card and then moving on to the next card this one where I did the partial die cutting We've talked about that before, but I just um, stamped my image. But the very first thing I did is I took, you can do it either way. You can take this and draw your circle and stamp your image in it, or you can stamp your image and then use the die and move it around to see where exactly you want what part you want out of the die cut circle so let's do that first here let's stamp her and then use the circle so there's our image and then we just kind of decide what do we want out 
and then very lightly trace the inside of your die. So now you'll know you'll need to cut here around her legs, down around her dress, and up. And then what you'll do is you'll just slip your die through there and the part that you don't want die cut will be left out and you run this through the stamp and cut and emboss machine and you will have your image which I've already colored her you can see I used the messed up on that side so I turned it over and used this side so she's cut out and she's ready to go on the die cut here just need to use a little adhesive And then I have a card base all ready to go with the greeting, collecting sweet thoughts of you. And we'll just put her on with some Stampin' Dimensionals. And that's how I made this card. And as I said, these two are just very similar. The only thing I did was just cut out the nets and put them on with dimensionals. So the one other thing I did that I told you about was the paper pierce, piecing, not piercing, paper piecing. And I just took a piece of designer series paper, and I do try to find a piece that has um, a small print. I think as you can see, there's this one. This one had a sort of a plaid, and this one was a marbled, and then this one has a small print. And sometimes I use for example, this is Flirty Flamingo, and I use Flirty Flamingo ink. On this one, I use black. And on this one, I use the Magenta Madness and just Jade. And then on this one, I use the black. It's just up to you whatever um, look you're going for, whatever look you like. You could use, I could have used black here. We'll just this time stamp the lower part of her body. When we were stamping the uh, nets, we were stamping the top. Just move these out of the way for a minute. And there's her dress, and I just fussy cut it and adhered it to the image. So that was all there is to that. Bring back the cards. They were really easy to make. And like I said, this all started with inspiration from the um, Celebration brochure. And then here's the one we just made. And all of those were made using the Catching Butterfly stamp set. And that is available for free from the Celebration catalog when you place a $50 product order from Stampin' Up. So I want to thank you so much for joining me today. And until next time, stamp happy!